Guys, how's it going? Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a garden tour, and um, I haven't done a garden tour in a very, very long time, guys. Um, I usually don't do garden tours in November because, you know, there's not much to show. You know, all the plants are going away, and uh, they're dying off. But um, I feel like I need to do a garden tour because I haven't done a garden tour in a while. It's November, almost December, really close, and I'm very surprised of these plants like look at this tomato plant over here for example you know it's growing a lot you know um you, there's even a butternut squash plant it won't give any butternut squash butternut squash but st it's still amazing that it's growing and so i wanted to show you around and see how everything is going and so, so first go. i want to do the garden tour over here first and then move over there and then over there um so this is our this is the place I usually do squash. I usually um plant zucchinis around here. I'm gonna put a garden bed uh, over here. I might put a lettuce bed right here because there's this gate right here. We got this um automatic gate for our um the driveway. So my mom, you know, she wanted it and I didn't really agree to it. But um we had to cut down this humongous bush. I think you remember from my earlier videos. Um, but anyway, um. We got lots of rain um, in, like, October and earlier this November. And so you can see these artichokes, they absolutely love it. They are growing amazingly. Um, one, a little bit, the garden might go away very soon because it got 36 degrees last night. And so that's a little bit um, bad for these plants because... You know, they might die, but artichokes, I'm pretty sure they won't die. I've had this artichoke plant for two years, and this came back every single year, which is amazing. I got these this year. They died off, but then they came back. Um, also, this cactus right here, I don't think you've seen it before, but it's a cutting from my grandma's house, and I just put it in the ground, and it gave two beautiful branches or you know whatever you call them look at these fruit hope these um ripen because this is the time they ripen they the flowers come in the spring they ripen all year and then they come in the come in that time this time um then what's going on to oh there's more thing, things i'm going to show you this is lemon vardina i think it's some kind of basil plant a cross between the basil and mint and you can use it for tea. I think you're using it for cakes. My grandma gave it to me. I have to look it up. Then this is um our mint. This one comes every spring. But this one is just going to grow everywhere. And guys, I know you are not supposed to put mint around your garden. It just takes over everything. But I'm 100% sure that this area is okay for this mint to take over. Um, This is our... Um, this was a fountain that was not going anymore. It kind of just, uh, you know, no water in it at all. It wasn't working. It was broken. So we filled it up with dirt and put succulents in it. And it's really nice. Okay, let's get on to the main oh, garden guys. area. If you didn't know, this is the main garden area right here. And um, you can see I have a basil plant here. I've been trimming off these flowers. Because you, if you guys garden, you know that when they give flowers... There's, it's most likely the basil plant will die. Um, then, um, these are all my pepper plants. They kind of died off by themselves. I went to my grandma's house when it was like 100 degrees here, and they just died off because I had a neighbor that watered them, and she didn't do well, and they just died. It's not her fault. She doesn't know how to water plants too well. Um, then over here, you can see these potato plants. They love that rain. And so they're going to grow really well. I hope they go through the, the winter because, oh my gosh, look at those leaves. That is absolutely amazing, guys. Here's my carrot plants. They came back really easily because of the rain. This guy, the, he came back from the rain. Look at Tomatoes in November. Man, guys, that is a, that is a, a true wonder. See, this plant is going crazy. It's our oldest one. I think it's like... 10 months old or something like that. It's crazy old. 
for a tomato plant because tomato plants are seasonal. They don't they only have a life until the um you know the winter. Spring to winter. Then our corn plants were over there. I cut them down because they died off. They already gave I have a bunch of strawberry plants. This humongous spinach is completely taking over the place. So I have to trim it and so I can come back in the spring. This is my broccoli plant that um have for I have had for, for three years. You can see the bees love it. So you know what you want to come. You want to bring the bees around. You can see all these tomato plants crazy. The blueberry plant struggling to survive. <laughs> um, but I, I'm gonna put blueberry plants all along here. I'm not gonna put a tomato plant over here anymore. I'm gonna put a bunch of blueberry plants. We're gonna get a big blueberry harvest. Now well, let's this get is the, to gate the gate area. Gate. Usually this is my berry area. But I decided to put some beans. You can see, oh my gosh, look at those scarlet, Emperor Scarlet Runner beans. Amazing beans, guys. You should grow them. This, I grew from seed. You can see how, it's like a real tree. Look at how big the stem is. It's amazing. I thought it would get littler. It's this humongous, humongous thing. It. You can see all this dead stuff, all the heat, the wind, too. If you didn't know... If you didn't know, the wind really destroys a lot of things. It dries out everything. Here's a bean plant. I guess I'm going to harvest maybe a few small little beans from there. Here's my raspberry plants, blackberry plants. I have three stalks. One right there, one right here, and one right there. That's all. That, this one's the oldest one. Hi, Madison. What's going on? She's molting. Don't worry. She's not, like, dying anything or anything. Um, now let me show you my, um, hey guys, so this is where some of my fruit trees are. Um, so first, this is my plum tree. It gives so many plums, guys. Uh, also, you can see it's really green out. Anyway, this is my big plum tree. It gives lots of plums, um, a lot of plums. And they're the same color of the leaves, so they take a bit of a, it takes a little bit while a little while to find them in the purple because they're purple the plums are purple then this is my um what's it called how do i for apricot tree sorry this is my apricot tree it is gave uh, all of its leaves away this is the last leaf last leaf off um this is not a fruit tree i don't know i think there's a plum tree that's growing here i'm gonna cut it down because it's gonna steal water from this yeah, it's our apricot tree. It's not too exciting because, you know, it's a, uh, it's a sleeve saw. Let's see if it's alive. Nope, it's alive. Then this is our lemon tree. I think it's a Meyer lemon. Meyer lemons are, guys, Meyer lemons are amazing. Um, you can see, I think the leaves are going to fall off. I don't know if this one's going to fall off. I mean, maybe. It, it's not giving, it has this tiny little lemon on it. And I don't think it's going to grow very well because it, first of all, it died because of the heat. And it had barely any water, so that's a few things, but it's growing back well. There's a, man, I'm sorry for this blueberry plant. It might be alive, really a little bit. Um, here's our cherry tree. It has actually three types of cherries on it. This is the yellow kind, and this one's like a really big, dark red cherry. It's amazing. Then that's a regular kind of cher cherry. Look at how tall that thing is. It's amazing. It's it, it's getting its leaves off. Um, let me show you the um, redwood trees over here. I'm not going to cut the video because it's <laughs> right over here. Um, okay, here it is. So these are my redwood trees. Um, all of them are redwood except this one. This is a sugar pine. Um, here's a sequoia tree. I got this not very long ago. Here's another sequoia, sugar pine, redwood tree, coast redwood. These are coast redwoods. Another coast redwood, no, another coast redwood, and sequoia. So these are amazing plants. I, I, You can get them from Amazon, actually. I didn't get them from a nursery or anything. Got them from the, from Amazon, which is uh, interesting. So that's really cool. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And um, please put down a comment, leave a like, even subscribe. I will love any of those. Um, subscribing is the best one, honestly.
But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.